And now we're going to graph a line by finding ordered pair solutions. Just so you know, in terms of finding ordered pair solutions, you have to plug in values. So you can plug in values for X or you can plug in values for Y. For this particular example, I chose to plug in values for X. So here you see in the table here, uh, we're going to first let X be negative 3 to see what we get out for Y. Then we're going to let X be negative 2 to see what we get out for Y. And then lastly, we're going to let X be negative 1 to see what we get out for Y. So let's go ahead and start with the first uh, plugging in a negative 3. When we plug in a negative 3, what we have out front is 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. Next step to solving this equation for Y, we have to do what? Yes, add 15 to each side, and y equals 5. So when we plug in a 3, a negative 3, what we get out for y is a positive 5. Next, let's plug in a negative 2 to see what we get out for y. When we do that, 5 times negative 2, we're going to have negative 10 out front. Last step to solving this is to add 10 to each side and y equals 0. So that means when you plug in a negative 2 for x, what we get out for y is a 0. Let's just plug in one more value. We're going to plug in this time a negative 1 in x's place. When we do that, we have 5 times negative 1, which is negative 5. Last step to solving for y is to add 5 to each side and y equals negative 5. So when we plug in a negative 1 in x's place, what we get out for y is a negative 5. And now we have three ordered pair solutions. We're going to use these ordered pair solutions to sketch our line. Let's proceed by plotting our points on the rectangular coordinate system. We'll start with the first point here. That's over negative 3 on the x-axis, and then up 5. Next, over negative 2, and stay there at 0. And the last point, over negative 1, and down 5. And there we have our line. 